tutorial for the cloth effects 4 um update i will be showing you how to create a flag which is being torn apart using the wind force so if we go ahead and rotate this on the um what axis was it i think it was uh well depending on your axis just make sure it is facing up or not upwards towards you so if you go ahead and just shape it like you would a flag and then once you have that you have to add some density to your flag so you get a nice um detailed cloth simulation so what i'm gonna do is i will be uh, using the custom operator and once you do that you can go ahead and use the new pinning editor which lets you select any faces edges or vertices and then hit the s key and it does it automatically for you so there you have your flag simulation so all we need to do is add a force field yeah a force field wind and rotate Take this towards the flag now the good thing about the uh, 2.8 is that there are now some widgets included to change the parameters for the active um, force field so we could go ahead and simply um, I believe we can no something's wrong with this build then so it's still in beta so they are making some changes to the to the build so I'm gonna go ahead and just change the wind strength by going to the physics tab or section yeah because this physics tab is this one this is the physics properties yeah so if I go ahead and run the simulation Nothing is happening. Why is nothing happening? This may be because of the flow. No. Uh, point. Nope. Fine. Point. 500. Oh, there you go. Okay. So yeah, you have to fiddle around with the strength parameter. If we go ahead and change this to something like 2000. Hopefully this ends up working. And yes, it does. So we're going to go ahead and enable self collision by clicking this icon right here. Um, the options for the, for self collision are shown on the right side. Let me know if this gets confusing. I may uh, end up just boxing uh, only the parameters for the for the single options. Um, and let me know if you if the new UI is uh, confusing to you. I can go ahead and make some changes uh, depending on how many people want me to change. The UI and I can include some uh, a new design in the upcoming versions. So I'm going to run this simulation right now, and now we have a nice flag. It's a little, little rough, so we're going to smooth this out. Shade smooth. Okay, excuse me. If we go ahead and click on this icon, we can go ahead and draw out our custom term map. So what I'm gonna do is I am I'm gonna tear the the flag apart and by starting um from the from the front from the tip of the flag towards the base so if i go ahead and just draw some random again you press space to draw a new one 
And then we can go ahead and just add a whole a bunch of small detail in between. I may end up uh making a list of of tear maps or patterns which uh which are stored and then you can just go back and delete each one because for now it is destructive so um if you want to go back to your regular or undo the the patterns you will need to um delete the custom operator and add it again so for now it is destructive i will be making this as non-destructive as i can um, in the upcoming future features so i have this this nice tearing pattern i just gave to the draw out on the flag now we we'll go hit the s key again to confirm it so now we run the simulation we see that nothing is being torn but that's because we need to add a collider the collider will go ahead and activate that for you the the splitting of the torn mesh and then we can start to tear apart our object so i'm going to go ahead and change this to proximity we won't be needing mesh contact so i'm going to disable the collision and now if we go ahead and move this further apart so this is proximity is uh enabling the tearing by distance so it depends how close it will be on your torn object you can increase proximity or decrease the, the proximity the distance um so if i go ahead and run the simulation i'll go ahead and increase the strength put it up to 5000 that should be pretty good. Okay, so now we have the cloth being simulated. One second. Now, if I go ahead and start moving the collider, you'll see that it starts to activate the tearing. So I'm going to do it from this side. I'm going to go ahead and keyframe this. And then, depending on about there, about 30, no, yeah, there, around 35. And then we're going to keyframe it again, and then start moving it towards the flag. And then this will uh, enable the tearing process you see you see how it starts to activate already so i'm going to bring it down to something like 0 0.6 there you go now we just run the simulation and you can see the flag starts to tear apart Oh, one thing I do want to say is uh, this is in a specific flag. It's just a simulation. I don't want to make you guys think I I hate a certain country or something. I love all countries, except the bad ones, of course. Um, so if I go ahead and bake this after doing so, we can go ahead and run the simulation. And you'll see that the flag begins to tear apart. Now you have a very nice um, cloth effect. This is good for, uh, this can be good for intros or simply creating visual effects for, for your clients or whatnot. <clears throat> so if I go ahead and do change it to uh, the view to look dev and then we're gonna 
Where is it? Oh, okay, they, I forgot they moved everything over here. Um, I believe it's this one. Yeah. Okay, so now we have a nice cloth simulation and a tearing effect. And this is all. This was all done um, under ten minutes. So it's it's very convenient. It's fast and you can get pretty nice results. Change the shading. Or what's this one? Oh no, this one. Um, I can have. Yeah. So yeah, you could you could uh have a lot of control over your claw turn simulation um that's it for this tutorial i will be posting more tutorials like a, a flat tire effect and whatnot i'm going to be posting more examples um and i'll be including these in in the in cloth effects for um as a separate folder so I'll let you guys know when I upload the example files and that way you guys can try and try them out yourself. But yeah, that's it for this video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, go ahead and give it a like and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.